Hello friends, today we're going to read another book about gardens and gardening. This book is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. As you can see, it shows what you can see up above the ground in the garden and down inside the dirt where we can't see unless we dig deep into the garden. I think we'll learn a lot more about gardening, especially what goes on in the soil where the flowers and the plants are growing with their roots deep in there. Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt, written by Kate Messner, illustrated by Christopher Neal. Wow, on the front page, I already see so many different plants and vegetables. Beautiful drawings. Up in the garden, down in the dirt. Up in the garden, I stand and plan. My hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there? I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Look at this is compost that you spread over the soil to help the soil be ready to garden. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly around. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my fingers and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. What do you think he, she means to give the garden a drink? Can they really drink? Let's find out. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings, and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Wow, I notice on this page that water is falling out of the watering can. That must have been what it meant when Nana said give them a drink. And remember, friends, plants need sun, soil, and what's the third thing they need to grow? Yes, they need water to grow. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout. Pea blossoms bloom. Wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. <gasps> Do you see the honeybees? and the green sprouts sprouting up above the ground. And I see the roots are deep down in the soil with earthworms helping them grow. I weed and wilt in the sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Wow, she must be very thirsty because the sun is so strong. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool damp, dark. So it must be a lot cooler in the soil. 
up in the garden. Rain shower! Nana turns the hose on me. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato. Warm from the sun, juice dribbles down my chin. Have you friends ever been into a full tomato, the whole tomato? Maybe you should try it. I love eating the tomato whole. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. <gasps> Look what the bird is eating. The robin bird is eating all the bugs and she's looking really, really hard to find her food. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. So when you have a garden, you really have to take care of it all day long. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. So it's not just a gardener who works, it's also the animals like the skunk and the robin and earthworms helping to help the plants grow. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh. But do you see him with the net to catch his insects? Snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Snake is gonna get the praying mantis. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers blow to bow to September. <gasps> Wow, so they planted in the summer, springtime and waited, watered the plants during summertime, and now it's September. Remember when we were, uh, when we started school back in September, it was nice and, um, nice and cooler than summertime. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Look. She tied the sunflowers together to build a house where they can lay and read. And the pumpkins come out. It's fall. September is in the season of fall. I can't book the page, friends. There we go. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web strand by silk and strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Let's see. Oh, do you see? The moths are caught in the spider web. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. <gasps> the cold is coming. It was fall, and now it's getting colder. What season do you think it is coming? Yes, if it's getting so cold, it must be winter that's coming. Winter's coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. Does anyone know what it means to harvest? Harvest means 
after you've sowed the seeds and have grown all the plants, you pick the plants and fruits and vegetables and everything you've grown all year long. That's what you call harvesting. You finally pick the products that you have in the garden or your farm. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Oh, so some ants, they have to store foods before it gets too cold. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacks hang waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home. Earthworms curl tight in the dark. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble, and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer still rests in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms, and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts under the bare arms of trees and the blank blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. Even though it's winter time and there's nothing above the ground, everything is still working under the ground to make sure the soil is ready for the next spring. The end. Friends, did you like the book? We saw a lot of things that happen under the soil, while a lot of things are going on above the soil while gardening happens. I hope you enjoyed the book and have a great spring break, friends.